hi guys welcome back to my channel in this particular video i'm going to be showing you how to make a cloudy sleeve with a tool net it is very simple and if this is what you are interested in learning stay tuned until the end of this tutorial you're going to be needing your basic sleeve block if you don't know how to draft this i'm going to be leaving the link in the description box and i've gone ahead to turn the hem of this my sleeve the length of the sleeve is to the elbow length which is about 14 inches so the first thing you're going to do is to go ahead from the top of your sleeve mark out about half an inch which are going to use to join this to the armhole of your outfits or your dress which you are making and equally you can as well leave your seam allowance that is your side seam allowance but i went ahead to leave that aside and next thing i'm going to do is to go ahead and mark down vertically one one inch until i get to the hem of my sleeve you can see what i am doing so make sure that you mark this equally if you are using half an inch go ahead and make use of half an inch if you are using um three quarter of an inch go ahead and make use of three quarter of an inch but the highest you can make use of should be one one inch so what i made use of right here is one one inch and once i am done connecting all these lines we are going to start with our making of this um cloud sleeve and you guys the net that i used here is seven yards that is what i actually used i bought about five years before and uh, along the line it wasn't enough and i went ahead to buy extra two yards so in total i made this of seven yards of net for the two sleeves okay and this sleeve actually took me four hours to finish up so i used two hours to achieve one sleeve and then two hours for the other sleeve so in total i used four hours to achieve the whole of this sleeve okay so guys the next step i'm going to take right now is to bring in my nets and i've already gone ahead to iron it to stay flat or stay straight if it's rumpled okay if it's rumpled you want to iron your net so that it looks smooth while you cut it out so what i'm going to do next is to go ahead and mark out three three inches just like you can see me doing like this and then the next step i'm going to take is to go ahead and cut it out but you guys bear in mind that the width of this your sleeve all depends on how wide you want your ruffle to look so for mine i made use of three inches you can as well make use of one inch two inches it can even be wider than mine it all depends on what you want so once i am done i'm going to go ahead and cut this out all right so you can see i'll finish the places that i marked out and i'm marking out another part so guys you can see that i am done cutting this out and this is what i have I cut this out as long as I can use it to gather up enough ruffles, okay? I'm going to go over to my sewing machine and we'll be pleating this just like you can see me showing you right now. So I've brought in my lining and I'm going to place my two on top of it and following the middle, I'm going to place, make sure that the middle part of these two is matching the middle part of the line that I marked and then without stitching on the same allowance which is the upper part they have an inch same allowance that i left i'm going to start pleating guys you can actually go ahead and run a loose stitch in the middle of your tool and then gather it before you fix it into this lining but i don't like that procedure i don't know why but you can actually do yours just like that but i feel like this one looks very neat and 
pretty okay so this is what i'm going to do until i get to the other part and in case you are sewing this and your net finishes you can actually go ahead and add up another net and you continue pleating so guys i'm just going to leave you guys to watch what i am doing right now okay because i don't have much to say just cool down and then watch what i am doing all right So once you are done with one line, you are going to go ahead and cut off the nets and then using that net, you are going to continue with the other line, alright? So I'm going to go ahead and continue on the other line and then remember not to sew on your seam allowance, okay? So guys you can see that we are almost at the end of the sleeve this sleeve is amazing like looking very beautiful but this consumes a lot of time you just have to be patient you don't have to rush so um the next thing you are going to be seeing right now is the finish look of this sleeve all right so you guys you can see what i have right here this is the back and this is the other one so next thing i'm going to do is to go ahead and fold it into two just like this and then join my seam allowance okay so i'm going to go ahead and join the seam allowance and i will show you what we have so you guys this is it this is how to make your cloudy sleeve with your nets i hope you guys find this video helpful i will see you in my next one bye